Hello and welcome to the Build With Bear Workshop. My name is Pat Bear. I'm here to build model kits and hang out with you. I'm throwing the Bear Cave leg of the Scythe of the Mountain in the chat. I'm thanking Harold for hosting the stream as always. And uh, Harold has used his uh, cave points, his, his point channel points, to uh, make me hit this gong. So those that are here early in the stream, you lucked out. It's gong o'clock. We did indeed bang a gong. Um, and uh, thanks to everybody that's here. If you're currently a subscriber, you can say hi. If you're not a subscriber, you can also say hi. Uh, uh, we're going to wait uh, for a few more folks to join us because there aren't many people here right now. Sometimes Saturdays are really busy right off the bat. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes for people to go, oh, yeah, it's 9 o'clock on a Saturday. Also, I understand that some people don't know what day it is. And I hear and I get it. Um, today I woke up and I was going about my business. Now peek behind the curtain. Every day that I stream, I put up uh, a reminder of it uh, that, that I'm going to stream that night, and then throughout the day I retweet that stream uh, at g given times. I set times: noon, 3 p.m., 5 p.m., 7 p.m. Stream, whatever that kind of thing. Uh, I almost forgot to set my alarms to remind myself to do that because I, I set alarms for that. Uh, and I had to really sit and think a minute today at about, I don't know, 10.30 a.m., 11 a.m. And I go, now what day is it? It's Saturday and we're building. We build on Saturdays. I do model kit building Monday, Thursday, Saturday. Model kits, Lego, alike. Wednesday, we do something else. This coming Wednesday, I'm playing Hearthstone. Uh, Mr. Bob says, hey, Pat, I upgraded to a fire stick, and you're back on the big screen. Hell yeah, Mr. Bob. Feels good to be uh, on the big screen for you. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I, I'm wearing a shirt that doesn't do great on the green screen. It's a Windjammer shirt. Lashbrook is here. Hell yeah, Lashbrook. Happy to have you here. Um, already got a killer crew. I'm Like I said, Am I hoping more people decide to join us? Of course I am. Uh, I want to be appointment uh, viewing for y'all. That's why I keep uh, to my schedule. Obviously, I do it f uh, because I want you to be able to watch and I want you to be able to be like, oh, yeah, well, these are my these are things I can do. These are options for me. These are plans if I want them. But also, please understand, it is a thing that I have to do. It, this requires some amount of prep. Uh, these two hours are accounted for. Prep in the beginning, prep at the end, clean up, getting getting resituated, all of that. These are good things um, and good problems to have. Uh, a not great problem to have in the grand scheme of things. Um, my wireless keyboard today was unresponsive, and it has uh, been great. It, it's had no troubles at all. But uh, today, just... Would not, I changed the batteries because I thought, hey, it's the batteries because it's wireless. It's a wireless little dinky keyboard that I only use for streaming. Um, and occasionally I take it like if I'm going away, which who knows when that's going to happen again. But if I'm like going to take my laptop to my parents for like a week, I'll bring the keyboard just to have, you know, uh, options. Um, but it doesn't take up much room and I can get at it and it's not in the way. Uh, it's wireless, so I don't have to like unplug my uh, keyboard from its spot on my computer desk and move it and all that. It broke. So I bought it. I bought, I ordered a new one on Amazon. Who knows when I'll get it. Th they're saying next week. We'll see. But right now I'm like dealing with that. And uh, what I said was, um, oh, well, if that is the thing that is going to break, that's fine. That's fixable. I, like I said, I've got a wired keyboard. It's just annoying that I have to unplug it and move it and all of that. It's not the end of the world. It's just annoying. Whereas, uh, if one of these webcams were to go, that would be very frustrating. Doing the stream with only one webcam would be annoying. Um, uh, I, would, I would prefer not to have that. Uh, also, they're probably up in price right now, as people suddenly need them. Um, anyway... Uh, we're going to get started with our build stream in a moment or two. You know, this is the pre-show. This is the hangout. This is where we give people a chance to come in that are like, oh, shit, it's 9 p.m. Eastern. 
uh, I'm going to go hang out in the bear cave and watch a build stream. Um, you know, it's, it takes a, some time for people to kind of get settled in. That's okay. Uh, my view numbers are jumping up all, and down all over the place. And so I'm going to stop paying attention to that. As I've always said, y'all, as long as there's somebody watching, I'm good. Now, if there are a few people who are also chatting, that's always better than no one. Um, but that's also okay if that's the case. If it's a quiet stream, it's a quiet stream. Um, as I've said, I'm not really getting life experience right now. Like, I'm not doing a lot. Um, understand some? I, I would assume understandably. Uh, so it, I do like you know. Occasionally, I'm like, hmm, what do we talk about today? I do have an idea of something to talk about as we get to building. In fact, I'm going to hit the retweet on my own tweet. Uh, reminding people that this is going because that seems to do okay. Because uh, we're going to put some wings on a boat. But I do have like one idea for a thing I can talk about. First, we'll talk about this. This is uh, the Thousand Sunny is the second main named ship in One Piece. Of course, the first ship was just a rowboat with a sail on it. Uh, and then they had the uh, a Going Mary. And now this is the Thousand Sunny, but this is a special version of the Thousand Sunny. It has been the Emperor Penguin version of the kit, uh, which is, uh, or of the ship, which is uh, designed specifically for the movie Stampede. So we're going to put penguin wings. Now, do penguins fly? No. So is that extra weird? Yes. Um, it's very strange. Uh, uh, yeah, it's been blued, indeed. Uh, there's, there's some color to it, there's some additions to it. Uh, it's, it is, it is meant to fly along the waters and fly up, and from the movie Stampede, it is an element of that movie, which is an odd thing, but a fun thing. Uh, in general, uh, and also, uh, this kit, this is the smaller version. There's a larger version of this kit, which was a limited run, if I remember correctly in my research, um, where the yeah there 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 is a version of this kit that is like, um, you know like, it, this isn't one for four to one one hundred, but it's similar in that it's just bigger all around. Um, but I'm excited to build. The, I've been I've been very happy to build this kit. It's been nice to think about, uh, you know. Working on a ship, just doing something a little different. Do I love build, building big mobile suit boys? Of course I do. Do I like building something a little different now and again? Also, of course I do. Uh, that is that is pleasing to me. Um, let's see. So uh, that that looks like that. All right, that looks right. Okay. Now the ship goes here. This is wing twenty one. This is step twenty two, and then we. Put them there. Uh, only OP kit I have is the Chopper Robo TV animation. Yes. Uh, 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 five kits make a Zord. I do. Um, so I have the second. So the the uh, Chopper. Um, uh, the, the yes, there's that kit. The um, there are there are like there's three series of tiny choppers. Uh, and chopper in vehicles that you combine into making a giant chopper. The first one is uh, the uh, the giant. Po I forget the point name of the point, but the monster point, like the big monster version. The second version, uh, you end up uh, making a just a giant chopper, which rules. And I have that. I made that one. So it's a bunch of stuff to make a big chopper. And this one is yeah, you make a big zord. Uh, that one, yeah. Um, this is the fourth uh, ship that we've done. We did a uh, Hancock ship pretty recently. Uh, actually, fifth one, because we did Hancock ship. We did the Polar Tang, which is Law's ship. We did, um, before that, we did uh, the uh, Going Merry and the Thousand Sunny. So we've done, uh, so 11 is on this one, 10 is on this one. Great, 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 great. Um, so we've actually done a few of these, and they're, they're pretty quick. Like, the Polar Tang, as it is a small ship and a submarine, is a pretty simple build uh, compared to other things that we've worked on. Um, okay, so... Like this. It's going to go... Like this. 
Uh, okay, it goes like this. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Like that. Then like that. You need a golden a thousand. Yeah, uh, a golden thousand sunny. Yeah, the uh, the golden sunny. And let's do 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 do. Hmm. What am I doing? Nope, this looks right. That looks right. And then this just locks in. Hmm. I'm gonna gonna do this on the other side here and kind of just see what I'm that I'm doing wrong. Nope, that just slides right in. Okay, so that should be fairly easy to do. We'll just look at this again. Yep, that's nice and easy, so now it's just a matter of making it happen. Um, I am excited because it, it kind of looks like One Piece is picking up the pace a little bit. There's some stuff happening. Uh, we're, we're seeing some stuff. I mean, uh, we had a huge moment pretty recently. Not a huge, huge moment in the grand scheme of things, but for people that have always wondered about it, we did get to see Sanji uh, wearing uh, some cool, uh, a cool uniform, wearing his suit, opening, opening up the can and getting himself a power suit. Uh, it was kind of interesting. And he's finally fulfilled one of his dreams. He is, uh, he has figured out he has the ability to go invisible now, so we'll see. We'll see if, if the show gets any lighter for him to get an opportunity to be a garbage version of himself. All right, we got wings. They move. We can adjust how they look. Got to put them on an angle if we want. We got wings. It's time for things. That's the that's the age old statement. Wings and things. Um. Okay, wings are on. Anything else I need to do? No. Great. All right. Uh, we are close to the most annoying step in the whole thing. We are going to build the masts, and then we are going to assemble the sails. Now, the sails are the most annoying part of it because they feature... Uh, luckily, only one of these sails features just a annoying amount of uh, uh, stickers. So that's nice, but because uh, that's just it's just annoying. It's not fun. Panel lining is most. Uh, where's now? Once it's built, yes. Oh yeah, no. If uh, if I was going to be doing uh, panel lining on this kit, uh, I would probably uh, do that kind of in some parts in stages and as we go. Um, you know, the same way that. This kit, if I waited till I built it to put the stickers on, that would be really, really frustrating, and I would have to take segments apart and all that. But yeah, uh, all right. So let's do. We'll do the easy part first, and then we'll do the annoying part. Um, some of this is is pretty straightforward, and some of it is kind of frustrating. So let's see. We need C two and C one. So we'll do C. Or sorry, C three. C three has some stickers on it. So there's C2. C3, we got to put some stickers on. Not too many. It's not too frustrating. All right. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, but if I was going to do, be doing some line work on this thing, it, it would be... It would be a frustrating process. All right, so put that there. And then goes like that. Uh, so and it, basically what we're going to do is we're going to be putting stickers on this side because the other p side of the kit or of this mast will be covered up by the attachment for the back sail. So we don't have to worry about that part of it, and we can just 
we're just basically doing stickers on one side, which does make things easier. Of course, these are small little stickers that we are applying. And as always, as is the case with any Build with Bear workshop project, we're just going to do our best with it. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to do what we can. Uh, I might do some adjustments after the stream. I might redo some stuff. I might pull some things off and, and put them back on a little differently. But uh, a lot of this is just the process and kind of getting used to, to working with materials we haven't worked with before or if you're if you haven't done a kit like this. But uh, perfection has never been the goal on one of my streams. You know, I want things to look good and I don't want them to look haphazard or poor, but I'm okay with things looking okay. Let's see. So we got a little stick there, red on brown. We only have to do one side of it, which is nice. So 36, 35, 34, 33. And we'll just go right up the sail. I'm also making sure that I am not stabbing as I try to remove the sticker and then apply the sticker, that I am not just cutting the sticker on the sheet and damaging the sticker that way. And then compress that in. Nice, easy uh, work. So, um, today, I... Uh, kind of kept it lazy. I ate too much good food yesterday. So yesterday, um, I got in my head, you know, I've been cooking meals, cooking all my meals, right? Making things happen, getting it done, doing what I got to do. Kind of got sick of the food that I own and the meals that I've been preparing myself. And I was like, okay, you know what? Let's order delivery. Uh, Harold just won $1.63 on HQ. Congratulations, Harold. Great job. Good work, buddy. Make those little, little mounts. You got this. Uh, so I was like, I'm going to order some food. And I'll order a bunch of food. I've got some cash. I can put an envelope. I can tip in cash as well as tip on the app because things, you know, are, are a mess right now and you got to support people. Um, I'll support a local business. I'll get some good food. This is going to work out great. So my first thought is, all right, I got to order something I'm not making. What am I making? What should I order that is not that, right? So I've been making a lot of pasta and I have been, uh, I had a lot of bread, and made a lot of sandwiches. Uh, I was like, all right, so I don't want anything like that, right? You know what I really want? Because I haven't bought any for myself. I haven't made anything like this. I want Chinese food or Thai or Japanese. Well, none of them are open. There's a couple that are open for takeout, but none of them are open for delivery. Uh, in my area, where I am. So that, that, that wasn't going to work out. Uh, and then I found one place that was open that is a Chinese place and I had never ordered from them. And I was like, okay, I'm going to order for them. I'm going to have this like an early dinner. I didn't really eat much that yesterday. I'm going to do that. A nice early dinner. That's going to roll. Uh, about 15 minutes before it was supposed to be delivered. My order was canceled by the place. I don't know why. Never, never got uh, any explanation. Don't expect to get an explanation. Just did not get my food demoralizing so I'm kind of just like okay all right well all right. kind of sitting on it thinking about it did some other stuff had a lot had some food in my house and then I was like you know what uh I got hamburger and, and fries on Friday heck yeah Mr. Bob um then I'm like okay you know what if 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 Asian cuisine is not in the cards, I'm still going to get some food. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to get something. I'm getting something. Uh, there. And so what I ended up getting was I found a pizza place that was delivering. 
Uh, all my local Chinese restaurants closed about a month ago. Yeah, so my local, my very local one closed immediately. Um, they had a, actually a really good uh, eat-in business. And there's a Thai place that's near me that's still open. They just weren't doing deliveries last night. I don't know. Um, uh, so, because I wanted to order from them, but, but they, they weren't doing delivery. Uh, and as I said, like, okay, you know, like, I'm not gonna sit here and complain about it. So I ended up get, but here's the thing, the place I ordered from, very happy I ordered from them. Well, they had a minimum for delivery, which is like, fine. It's totally okay. Uh, go for it. Do, do your thing. Um, have your minimum. So I ordered... Just an unconscionable amount of stuff. I got a chicken roll, which I didn't eat yesterday. I saved. I got a whole loaf of garlic bread with cheese. I would have liked a little more cheese, but that's okay. Um, and I got uh, two slices of pizza. Uh, at, like at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock last night. I was just like, oh, I got a lot of this. Oh, boy. Um, I still have some of the chicken roll because that was my lunch today but it was a good portion. And yeah, like I said, a chip, you know, tits both ways, try to support as best I can. Uh, happy to do it. Uh, the thing I'm right now, oh, 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 gong time. We got it. You redeemed the gong, so it's time to bang that gong. We'll do this. Hi, Sin. I'm going to read your tweet. Your, I'm going to read your chat messages in a second, but first I got to bang this gong. One more time. I banged that gong. Thank you for using your channel points on a gong. Hello, Sin. Good to see you, my friend. Um, Chipotle on the uh, is on the bottom, while local Italian places have gone hardcore into safety. Okay. Uh, you don't think you've gone two months without Chinese food? Yeah. It's been a while since I've had it, and it's weird. Uh, I might have to get, like, frozen Chinese food, like frozen dinner or something, like something. I don't know. That's going to be weird. Uh, I'll just say, yeah, it's just, it's just such a weird thing. Uh, both my local pizza joints are killing it with food safety, employee security. That's awesome. Uh, gong for the fallen Asian restaurants. In indeed. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. So my neighborhood is very Italian forward. It has been since the seventies. Um, so the pizza places are still open and doing great, but, uh, yeah, there's one Chinese place that, um, they're only doing, um, uh, curbside pickup. So I'm going to try to, this week, I'm going to pick a day, uh, to go and, and walk over there. You know, I kind of prefer not to, but like, yeah, Hey, you got to support, you got to support, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it is a, a thing. And you want to, you want to, you want these, I want these places to be open uh, when it's time to open. You know, I, I want them to, to come back and thrive. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to, uh, to be supportive and understanding. Like I was, you know, I left instructions like, oh, where can we put this? It's like, hey, you leave it, you put it, there's a thing by my gate. There's a little thing, like place, I'm like, you can put it right there. I'll come get it in a minute. Uh, you know, I paid for it already. Let's do this thing. Um, uh, uh, speaking of local businesses, I have, uh, uh, now your mileage may vary. USA Gundam store is located in Florida and I bought two model kits from them on Wednesday, uh, early in the day and, and they arrived today. I have another kit that I bought late on Wednesday that has, that is apparently shipped, but it's still on its way. Uh, that was like basically Thursday by the time I ordered it. So, uh, you know, as I said, your mileage may vary, but USA Gundam store shipped it from FedEx and it arrived and that rules because now I have, uh, I have the Crossbone Gundam, uh, the X1, and I have the EZ8 because we've never built an EZ8 on the stream before. I, I, I looked through my records. I was like, I don't think I've ever built this kit on stream. I think I built it like a long time ago. I built a, an EZ8 in my free in my own time, 
But I don't think I've done it on stream. So we got an easy eight. So, and we're going to build that at some point. Uh, buying a stainless steel growler is community support, apparently. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, look, I'm not telling anyone how to how to uh, how to get through whatever what we're going through. I will say, even if your state opens the beaches up, please don't go to the beach. I love you. Please don't go to the beach. Uh, the fucking South Carolina is opening up shit next week, and that is terrible. Uh, and I fear for my loved ones. Who live there? Uh, I'm just really afraid, like, about about the people they care about. Like, they're doing their part, but fuck. So yeah, let's stay home if you can. Do your do your best. Ugh, it's a bad time. Ah, uh, Easy Eight was my first kit I built when I got back in. Hell yeah. Uh, I promise I will go to the beach. Thank you, Harold. I know I can count on you. Um, but yeah. Weird times. Weird, weird times. Uh, what was I going to say? Today I got my favorite Asian fusion. And it has been dinner and two future lunches. Yeah, Sin. That's, I mean, obviously, right? That's the thing. Like, Not only are you helping yourself by like your support of the community, but like, I had dinner last night at a late dinner that filled me up. Uh, and then today I had lunch and I still have tonight. I'm going to have a little garlic bread because I didn't, I didn't eat all the garlic bread I have a little garlic bread as a treat, uh, after my night walk, because I'm going to go night walking. Uh, my neighborhood is very, very quiet. Um, in the evenings, uh, you know, a little before midnight and it, you can see when people are coming and where people are going and you can do your best to avoid people if they're out and about and people are, and you can walk in the middle of the street, which is really nice. Uh, all right. So sales and sales. That's the front sale. That's that sale. We need a three. This is our sale here that we're going to do. Uh, I will go to the beach in vacation simulator. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, and wear a mask when you're out. Yep. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, I am, um, I will say that I am happy that it is still cold here in New York because, uh, you know, it's warm in L.A. and people are being foolish. And in New York, it people are at least... For the moment, anyway, like still bundled up and at home, and there's still people who are jogging in groups, and maybe they live together, and so they're not worried, but they're not wearing masks because it's annoying to jog with a mask on. And there are people who are not taking care of themselves, and you have to just hope that they're going to be okay, and you can't, you know, you can't do anything for them. You just take care of yourselves and hopefully you're taking care of them too by taking care of yourself and it is uh it is a weird time all right so we're putting some stickers on here we'll put some stripes on we're gonna do one side then we're gonna do the other side this is probably the more painstaking process here of anything that we've been doing to this far uh because we're gonna try to make this look clean as cl nice and clean as possible uh and uh, masks are just a whole thing. I have allergies at cold. I'm wearing a solid mask and not a vented one. Because logic. Yes. Yes, sin. Uh, you know, the I, I said the strangest thing I had to buy uh, since uh, uh, sheltering in place um, was I bought more gaff tape because I was running low on gaffer's tape uh, because I've been using that to... Uh, put on uh, the bridge of my nose to tape my mask to my face so that I don't fog up my glasses. 
and I was using a lot of it. And I was like, and I, I was already running low because my own supply. Generally, um, gaffer tape for me, uh, primarily I was using it for work, bring it to work or whatever, because some theaters have abundance of it and some don't. So sometimes you got to do for yourself. But also, uh, I would have to, I was bringing it, you know, if I was running a booth for, for a convention or something like that, I always have some gaff tape. And then here around the house, you know, like, it, it works out pretty well for hanging things and supporting things and uh, keeps the uh, pole that my green screen hangs off of up. All right, so we'll try this here. Uh... Yeah, you just gotta do your best is all I can say to people. I have uh, had a uh, a conversation with a with a, a work thing, and they were like, "We're trying to figure out how your position could be done from the position you're applying for could be done from your home, and we don't really know." So we don't know if we're going to hire anyone. And I was like, I get that. Do you have anything else that can be done for home? And they're like, oh, oh, yeah, we'll let you know. I was like, okay, that doesn't sound that promising. Uh, I put a small bit of paper towel up there uh, at work. It absorbs the moisture that will fog you up. Oh, I like that bald ridge. Also, hi, bald ridge. Uh, uh, that is a, that's a good tip as well. Yeah, absorb that moisture that's going to go up there. All right. But yeah, I mean, like, trying to find something has been kind of hard right now. Uh, and the there was call for some uh, some work that I thought I would do a good job doing, but it involved uh, oh, that job involved uh like 45 minute travel by train. And I was like, mm, no, I don't, I don't want to ride Metro North right now for this really non-essential work that has been classified as being essential, but y'all aren't essential. So what are we doing here? And you're not definitely not going to pay me health insurance. So I don't think so. Uh, yeah, the fog part is a sign that the nose bridge isn't sealed uh, enough. Yes. Yeah, me as well. G Dirty, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, my masks are, uh, they're not as sealed as much as it certainly could be, and the tape does, does help. Um, but they are reusable, and that's been good. Ig is here as well. Hello. Got a great crew here tonight on a Saturday. I'm putting a lot of stickers onto a uh, a part of the sale. Now, I don't know the nautical term for this sale, what this is here. Um, you know, the, whatever. Uh, but we are doing it. Dude wants his rug is here as well. Hell yeah. But we're putting some stuff on the red sale on the ship. Um, but honestly... One piece, for One Piece, sailing is the least important part of the show. No one really throws around nautical terms too much. A lot of the nautical stuff they're obsessed with on the show is weird things like ley lines and just weird other things that are not actually sailing things, which is fine. That's not the kind of show it is. It's not obsessed with those things. Fine by me. Um... So later in the, in the hour, or sorry, at 10 p.m., in the second hour, I will be talking about some anime shows that I watched. And I didn't watch one show because I heard it was being uh, delayed. So I decided not to watch the second episode because it's going to be delayed anyway. And I'll wait because what ends up happening is I have two shows that I watch on Friday and then I have four that I watch on Saturday. But my two Friday shows are being postponed Uh uh, and we'll talk about them tonight, but uh, a pair of Ronman is being postponed or delayed. So I'm not going to, uh, maybe after the next week's episode, I can't remember if it's, if it's after the two or whatever. Uh, 
but uh but also um what else is being delayed um yeah food wars is being delayed uh which is a shame because it's just kind of kicking off but we'll talk about that uh that that episode in there uh oh yeah millionaire detective is being delayed uh which i'm not watching but maybe i'll watch the ones that are up i don't know uh Um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what else, you know, what other shows end up getting delayed. Uh, I can't remember what else is, what else was announced, but, uh, I'm really afraid that, um, I mean, look, when I say I'm afraid, I'm only talking about my own entertainment, my own enjoyment, the shows I want. Oh, the 13th episode of uh, The New Railgun uh, has been delayed. Um, when I talk about these delays, like, please understand that I'm only talking about, like, oh, being, you know, anxious or because, like, I like these shows and I want them to, to seed and come back and continue and all that. But, like, the idea that Japan is is actually taking a lot of this seriously um, and their previous methods, which looked good, are now not looking as good. Um, like, I'm still like, okay, get, take care of business. Take care of yourselves. Like, it is a shame, but I understand. You know, the ones that were delayed and there was an extra, extra time was needed for um, uh, uh, Infant Dendogram, and that took like a week longer to find. That, that had like three delays, two of which were pandemic-related. Uh, Gal and Dino I'm a little worried about because Gal and Dino has such a heavy live action element to it that I wonder if it'll have to take a break uh, in production I have no idea I think we'll, we'll start to see what shows are going to be dealing with that uh, there was at least one show that just didn't come out they were just like uh because the the studio was focused on another show trying to get that done uh i can't remember what it was but it was uh oh it was like um a demon lord uh resurrected himself or returned as like a high school version of himself to go to like school with his descendants so it's got that like overpowered main character but it's a comedy i forget the name of it but that was supposed to come out, and that's just been delayed. There's a few other things, like some of the movies got delayed. Um, uh, some productions are already like, hey, this isn't going to happen. So it'll be... Uh, it'll be, uh, you know, delays. That'll be the name of the game. Let's see. Crunchyroll announce... Um, see where are those yeah F food wars is going to be delayed they're just going to air season four uh doesn't look like they're putting any other ones here i don't know we'll, we'll see I'm sure someone's going to do a, a proper write-up soon. Uh, the hope is that people announce it because sometimes the weekly delays are just announced like right before the production is going to happen. Like, uh, and that is that has always been frustrating because you have to like you basically you don't know, so you go to watch your show and maybe you watch it like when it's supposed to premiere or you watch it like a couple hours later and you're like, all right, time to watch. One Punch Man, and then you find out there is no One Punch Man this week because of Japanese tennis, and you're like, wait, what? And they're like, yeah, no One Piece today. Sorry, not One Piece, but like One Punch Man. They're like, sorry, yeah, no One Punch Man. There's Nash, there's like important tennis matches happening. And it's just like, ah, oh, they could have told me that. Sure. Go team. 
All right, that goes on there. This goes on here. This. That's a sail. Now that's a sail. Sail. Um, hell yeah. That's going to go here. Look at that. It's a back sail. Uh, now that's what I call a sail. Indeed, Lashbrook. Around here, we call that a sail. Um, yeah, Lashbrook, your, the, uh, the kit, the Dianamines I bought uh, with your gift card uh, has shipped. Uh, we will actually, we can go and look and see where it is. Let's see if they've updated the tracking info. Right now, uh, as I kind of get nervous about putting together the other front one. All right, right now it is in Orlando, it says. Let's see. More details about that. Uh, ooh, it should be here on Monday. Okay. All right. Hopefully that, that is true. Um, uh, that will be, so that I, I'm, uh, because it was bought with a, with a gift card, uh, primarily with a gift card and a little of my own money, I'm counting that as a wish list purchase, uh, because, you know, it wasn't just bought with my own money or, or money that comes from streaming or whatever it was bought with that. Uh, oh, uh, sad and streaming. Is now following. Thank you for the follow, Sadden. Welcome. Uh, but yeah, so that's gonna that's gonna get built in the future, and I'm excited about that. I'm excited about all the kits I've got coming. I've got a good. We can kind of go through the uh, here. Just go through right quick. Uh, this is what's next. This thing it looks cool. Then I've got a bunch of stuff to build in the future, including a Lego set I bought for myself that I don't know when it's gonna arrive from Amazon. But eventually, I'm going to build that monster burger truck. Uh, and that's going to be good and nonsense. But yeah, I've got some kits to build in the future. Um, my stuff hasn't shipped because part of it is back order, which is fine. Because I won't be getting uh, to be Bandai until September. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I've got that premium stuff coming. Who knows when that's going to arrive? Like, obviously, those pre-order and they, they have estimation of when they're going to ship that stuff. But, like... I'm not, I'm okay if it, that takes, a, that's going to take a good time to get, to get my good death scythe and my good, good, uh, um, tall geese too. Uh, I'm like, yeah, that's okay. That's all right. You, you take your time, folks. Get those things together. Who knows when we're going to get those. I didn't, I didn't buy anything else from P Bandai. Two kits is enough. Uh, eventually maybe I'll get something else, but, uh, right now I'm like, that's a, that's good. Okay. So there's that. So now we're going to work on our front, uh, mast here. Uh, we got to put some stickers on this before we add in the roof. I went and grabbed my stepper clips, which I don't definitely don't need right now. I need my st stickers. So let's see here need sticker 51 there it is and do this here where's the start Oh yeah, do this so you can see. Doing here, just putting this sticker around here. Making sure I keep that looks good. Yeah, all right. Then got more stickers to put on. We can put the snip on here.
right. And put that on like that. Ooh, that looks good. Put the crow's nest. Now we got to put some uh, stickers on the top of the crow's nest here. It's like an 87. Let's see what that is. That's, oh, these. Now I got to put stripes in this thing. We get to add the stripes. The stripes don't come on themselves. And is the two parts there. Again, I'm not expecting, I'm, I don't expect myself to do a perfect job on this. I do, you know, I expect it to be good, but certainly don't expect it to be perfect. Uh, you know, if this was going to go on display somewhere, if this was, if I was doing this as a build project for someone, well, yeah. I also, if I was doing this as a build project for someone, I wouldn't be doing this on stream. I would be taking my sweet time uh, and I would be reinforcing everything. Maybe you put a clear coat of stuff on here, you know, putting a little dab of something on this. Really making sure I would have my, I would have my toothpicks and I would have my uh, um, Q-tips. Really taking my time with it. I still want it to look good, but I, as I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Oops. Well, that's just wrong. So, can we do that one? All right. So, here's a topic for discussion. And some of y'all will have thoughts on this. Some of you may not have any thoughts on this. Uh, it was brought to my attention that some people think that f uh, the movie Jumanji is a reverse isekai because it is the world of Jumanji the game invading real life and while that is part of the movie Robin Williams's character is a hey there's Pat hey there Pat hello Durman welcome uh, uh, Robin Williams' character is living a proper, traditional, modern isekai. Uh, he is a person that traveled to a different world, and he is experiencing life in that different world. Uh, it just so happens that he is returning, and most of the plot of Jumanji does take place in our world, with the rules changing. But for the most part, he's living, he's not living an isekai. He's just living a modern life. Uh, that happens to deal with that. Um, he's living a proper isekai. Uh, John Carter of Mars is an isekai. Um, we talked about this before, but uh, both Alice in Wonderland and uh, Wizard of Oz are isekai. Uh, those are, you know, classic novel adaptations of that trope. Uh, now, and we also talked about how there's traditional isekai. Is Hook an isekai? Oh, yes, 100%. Peter Pan has abilities in Neverland. Now, we, we later learn that Tinkerbell's magic works in, in another world, but certainly, yes, um, uh, uh, Peter Pan is 100% a, uh, an isekai protagonist. Now, modern isekai, when we talk about modern isekai, they are, uh, there is, there's two forms of modern isekai. There is modern isekai, um, there is, which is generally um, harem isekai. Uh, and then there is reactionary isekai, which sometimes is a throwback to traditional and sometimes is playing with it. Like, oh, well, instead of being an all-powerful, younger, hotter version of myself, I'm a slime, or a spider, or a vending machine, or um, uh, or the the evil character, the villain in in, in a dating game. Uh, after we had the revolution of 
of the popularization of, oh, well, this is now an MMO. Uh, and we've also had the self-aware isekai. Now, sometimes self-aware isekais are um, comedic in nature, like, uh, didn't I say to make my abilities average in the next life? That isekai is self-aware that there are isekais. Um, but also, uh, Rising the Shield Hero, which is a pretty standard isek modern isekai, um, he still says there's there's a line where he's like, I wish I wish I had read manga like this before I got here, uh, because he is not as skilled or well versed in the the subgenre that he is taking place in. He doesn't really have a lot of MMO knowledge, and he doesn't have isekai knowledge. Uh, so there's a lot of that and then like I said then there's the return to the modern uh, and then there's you know the comedy isekais those are coming of course uh, there are still shows where the, the main character is underpowered ReZero uh, he has very few uh, abilities uh, Konosuba our main dude in that is not necessarily super powered he does have some abilities but it's mostly for not uh And uh, one thing we'll talk about more, uh, we'll talk about um, uh, All Roots Lead to Doom. Uh, my life, uh, you know, is a villainous. My next life is a villainous. Uh, but she's like, ah, never did quite figure out how to get magic to work. Meanwhile, The Eighth Son, which is adding some comedic elements. The Eighth Son, like, uh, they're playing with the idea that he's so overpowered that people are like, uh, I don't want to, uh, he probably thinks he's too good for us. Oh, he's too strong. He's so good at magic that like the instructor's like, I don't know what I would teach you. You do you. Uh, and so it's playing a little bit with that reality. That show is still very much a straightforward isekai. Like there's still not like, stuff going on with that show. Uh, what piece? Of, there's a piece here that I definitely don't see where it was supposed to go. I'm wondering where that was supposed to go. It's A15. A15. I don't know where you go, A15. I didn't see you anywhere. Huh. There was a sticker I couldn't figure out. I figured out where that sticker on Thursday was supposed to go and applied that. So I'm not worried about that. But, yeah, there's the water display. And then there's the bottom of the ship display, which we're going to put there. That's going to require some stickers. There's the flying display. Let's see if I can figure this out. Let me just go real quickly, look through my steps. I look for a tiny piece that I don't see where that was supposed to go. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, obviously, like I watch a lot of these style of shows, and I know that not everyone does, and not everyone enjoys those kind of shows. Um, but uh, I don't know. I think there's a place for them. Okay, I don't know where that's supposed to go, but we'll figure out later. Let's just move on with this here. Uh, we still have to put some windows in. We'll do that. But yeah, I mean, like like I said, I understand that um, some people are really sick of those. But it's like, well, right now... If you're a mobile game, you get an anime because there's like six anime based on mobile games right now. And I understand that people don't like, you know, some traditional or some weird. There's there's and there's three isekai right now, but at least one of them is interesting. Or I would say one of them is interesting. One of them is not that different from it was previously and is kind of sp spinning its wheels. And then one is still pretty traditional, but, like, there might be something to it. So that's nice. 
Not that they're gross, at least. That's always good. But I do like the idea that, like, with, um, uh, I'm the eighth son, you're kidding me. Uh, he's like, he's still, you know, he was an office worker, but he wasn't good at making friends. And so he's still not good at that part. He's like, oh, I led a sheltered life and I didn't really meet anybody. Now I'm in school and nobody's talking to me. And he doesn't understand that it's because they know that he's like awesome and they don't think they measure up. And now he's like, oh, shit. He got an inheritance of like this cool house and he's like, this is too much house for just me. I hope I make friends. But he did. He made friends with with a martial arts artist and a spear user and a knight and a sword and shield knight dude. They're all pretty good at that stuff. Good for him. Made some friends. He's already going to make friends with the two other characters. Cause we see it in the opening animation. So you already know. We'll talk about some of the other shows when they come up. All right. All that's left right now is to... We have to finish... Uh, Assembling the uh, let's see one here. Gonna finish the flag. I wasn't sure how long this was. Th these steps were gonna take. Like we'll, we'll probably actually get started on our next kit today. I have it ready to go, which is good. But I didn't advertise it. Like we're gonna finish this up and then start the next one because sometimes I don't know. Like. You know, these are small, you know, these are sticker heavy steps, but I was still like, I don't know, it could take a long time to get this stuff done, or it could be really easy to get these components together. Sometimes I don't know. Like this came together okay, and it's mainly because we didn't have to put a bunch of stickers on this part of the mat, uh, staff, or whatever. You, you understand what I was saying. Uh, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. But yeah, we'll take a pause for the cause in a minute or two. I want to finish this step up, the, the steps here. We got, we still have one annoying thing to do, and then we'll have some fun stuff to do as well. But there's still one kind of annoying step left. And that is the big sticker. We got to put a Jolly Roger on this thing, the pirate flag. Let the people know these are the straw hats and they mean business. They got stuff going on. Not to mess with them. Gotta let them know. You know, we're putting the small Jolly Rogers on here, but we gotta put the big one. I also like that this is the, it looks more like the illustration that Luffy did. I think that looks cool. Excited about that. But yeah, and then we will, uh, we will talk about modern current anime that came out. As I said, I didn't watch one show. Uh, because I know that it's going on delay and I'll just watch it tomorrow or not tomorrow. I'll watch it for next week, but maybe I'll watch it for Monday. It all depends. Uh, because I'm also one of the shows that like princess reconnect or Pr princess connect redive. Like, I don't know if I've got another whole episode in me. I'm, I'm going to try to watch the one that comes out on Monday, but like, The idea that your main character has amnesia is not a problem. It's that it's like, oh, I don't remember my past, but he just doesn't remember anything. Like the fact that he can talk is remarkable. But I'm just like, I don't this. I don't need this. This the jokes for this are just weird. It's also I think about food, but it hasn't been about food yet at all, and I don't know what's going on. But, like, so many of the group shots involve them eating. 
because I think that's part of the game that it, the mobile game that it's based on. But I have not seen that. I don't know. Kind of all over the place. All right. So this is going to go on here. Then. Goes like this. And then. That. That. Okay. I want to finish this part up and then we'll take our pause for the cause. So that's coming in a minute or two. And if you're new to the stream, what the pause for the cause is, it's just, it's a way for me to talk about ways you can support the channel. If you weren't so inclined to do so, as always, you are under no obligation to do that. But if you want to, if you were like, oh yeah, I want to support what's going on here. There's ways to do it. And it's pretty cool. They're pretty cool how ways to do it as well. Okay, so we're going to put this on here. Take out this part. Okay, goes there. All right. And this goes here. Okay, now we got a big old sticker to put on and we got to try to line this up right. So let's get this sticker up and let's apply it when the time is right. So we are going to uh, try to peel back here. I'm going to peel up all of the corners here first. Get the crossbone up first. And then we'll move on from there. Oops. That. All right. Shit. This is one that I don't want to mess this up. Uh, finally figure it out. Uh, my neighbor isn't practicing bass riffs late at night and early in the morning. They're playing Doom Eternal really, really loud. That's, uh, I mean, like, I'm glad you know that, but also, like, that's too much. If, you, if, if the bass is like that, then they are playing too hard. They're playing too loud. Uh, I hope they're having fun. Okay. Now, this, again, let's do our best with it. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Part of our bone here bent back. Kind of got stuck to itself. So I'm going to see if I can fix that. Stuck to itself, which I was trying to avoid. Yeah, it's not going to look good. All right. It is what it is. Oh, oh no. No. Uh, is this a bit off-centered? Yeah. Am I okay with that? Also, yeah. Uh... All right. So we are close to being complete. Uh, there are two versions of this. There is, oh, this is flo floating in water, which is what we've got here. Uh, three versions, I should say. There is, this is floating in water, which is what we've got going on right now. There is, oh, this is, uh, the other version is, 
this is on display, and then there's this is flying. And so we will do the three versions of that after our pause for a cause. That's right. It's time for the pause for the cause. And what this is, is this is an opportunity for me to tell you about ways you can support the channel if you're so inclined. We'll get back to completing this and working on the various uh, finishes for this kit in a moment or two. But first, hi. If you're currently a subscriber, um, throw your uh, uh, Bear Cave Lego site if you're a Tier 2 uh, emotes in the chat. Let the people know you're a subscriber. It's always great to see that. Uh, Jam is here. Hi, Jam. Uh, oh, I never, I never actually went back to what we were working on there. Sorry about that. Um, uh, it gets here. Hello. Uh, yes. Um, thank you so much for being uh, subscribers and for supporting the channel. It does mean a lot to me. Um, you can use. Oh, uh, what's up, uh, uh, Aki? Uh, you can use your Twitch Prime coin if you have Amazon Prime linked with Twitch and you get Twitch Prime. You can do that. You can use Cash Money. That is a way to do it. The numbers go up. You could gift a sub. You could join the leaderboard like Dirty. Uh, it, you know, uh, or you could do bits and coins like Harold and support that way. Bits and coins are always appreciated. Uh, these are ways to support the channel. You are under no obligation to do so, but if you would like to, it does mean a lot to me uh, and is a great way to support the channel. Uh, Aristofan is here. Hi, Aristofan. Uh, again, you don't have to do any of this. Uh, I'm going to talk about ways uh, to support the channel here for a couple minutes, and then we'll get back to building uh, very soon. But uh, I just wanted to, you know, go through a couple different ways you can support the channel if you if that's what you are thinking about doing. Um, I also have a Patreon, and you can support my Patreon at the one dollar, the three dollar, the five dollar, the ten dollar level. There are different levels; you get different things for doing each. Um, if you are in the one dollar, you get a Q and A every month, as long as like an email about my schedule. Three dollar, you get to choose uh, on Monday. I'm going to put a poll up for my $3, $5, and $10 patrons. My $3 will get involved in that to decide what kind of decks I'm going to be playing on Wednesday when I play Hearthstone. I'm going to put that post out on Monday. So look forward to that. Uh, folks that watch my uh, uh, streams and miss them sometimes, will you get an email about every stream a day or the night I post if it's a live stream or if it's a video you get the day before uh, for $5. And then $10 get all that stuff, plus $10 get to vote on what I build. They decided that the next kit I'm working on from my own backlog is this one. Uh, the uh, the Gira, uh, Giraga. Uh, we're going to build that next. This thing's got a tail. That's weird. Uh, that's the next thing we're going to build because the $10 patrons voted that that's what the thing they wanted to see me build next out of my personal collection. So we'll build the high grade. That's going to be pretty fun. Uh, I also have a donation page. Anything that goes to my donation page goes to me buying kits and equipment. Uh, the keyboard that I just bought came from that uh, database of funds. Uh, you're under no obligation to do any of these things. If you're watching later on YouTube, you can find all this in the show description of the video. But yeah, um, the donation page helps pay for the new keyboard that I'm getting, which would just make my life easier for streaming um, and general upkeep, like when I got to replace my bulbs and stuff like that. Um, uh, so I appreciate that very much. Uh, I have an Amazon wish list. If you want to buy something off that wish list, I would build it on the stream. Uh, I understand why some people uh, logistically or morally will be opposed to doing that right now, and I appreciate you and understand it. It is the easiest way to have a wish list of sorts for people to be able to, to buy stuff. Uh, I know that somebody pretty recently picked up the Justice Knight. That's apparently on its way. I don't know who picked that up, but that's awesome. Thank you for buying that. I look forward to building that in the future. Um, someone anonymously bought this, bought the Thousand Sunny. Um, and I've been very happy to put that together. Thank you very much, the anonymous person that did that. But yeah, that is a way to, to support the channel. Uh, it is not necessary, but it is a way to do it. Um, USA Gundam Store. They are not a sponsor, but I bought two kits from them, and they came very fast. They are still open. They are still shipping things. Uh, if you are looking to buy kits, I would say go to USA Gundam Store. Now, they have uh, gift cards that they send you digitally, so you can buy use them on the store. And if you wanted to, you could buy a gift card from them, and then send me a whisper here on Twitch or a DM on Twitter 
with a code, and then I would use that code. I did it. Lashbrook sent me some money, and I bought uh, a kit, uh, thanks to Lashbrook's uh, donation, that is on its way at some point, and I will build that in the future, and I'm excited to put that kit together. But that is thanks to the generosity of Lashbrook. Um I have a Discord. You can join that. We're going to get back to building in just a moment, but I did, you know, I like to go through my sponsor stuff, my pause for the cause. I got a Discord. Join my Discord. And now I'm going to uh, put you with some YouTube links. Here is me talking about a few anime shows, Pepper Anime Club, uh, talking about a few shows I'm excited about. I put that out on Monday. Uh, I only maybe take back one of them. I'm not sure yet on a para. But the other shows I talk about, I think are all great. And my worry about um, Breakwater, uh, it's turned out to be really solid. Second episode really won me over. So uh, that is a, uh, I think you can watch Bearing the List. Um, I do a new video every week where I uh, pick a topic and I explore it um, using Tear Maker. Uh, this, this week, I ranked all of the characters in the anime New Game. A two-season anime uh, with, a, with a few supporting characters and some main awesome characters. It's a fantastic show, uh, and I ranked all the characters in that, because why not? Uh, and then I was on a podcast on Thursday. So if you're looking for something to listen to, if your regular podcasts are on hiatus, or you just want something going on in your ears, and, or you want to listen to podcasts podcast while you work, I was on the Must Have Seen TV podcast. My friend Brett White from Decider. Uh, invited me uh, to watch an episode of Saved by the Bell, and we talked about it, and it is a doozy of an episode. And I had things to say. Um, so if you want to uh, give that a listen, uh, that would be rad, because it was it was fun to be on that podcast and to um, to hang a bit, uh, you know, virtually with my friend Brett. Um, Brett uh, wrote for, uh, writes for Decider, and is the person that quoted that I am his anime expert, which is very true. I am uh, definitely 100% his personal anime expert. Uh, all right. We're going to get back to building in just a moment. Let's, hey, have some beverage. Drink some water if you want to drink some water. Uh, stretch your arms. Stretch your legs. Remind yourself that you are a person. And it is time to feel things if you've been resting on your hands. Maybe you want to well, there. Have you seen the trailer for the new Saved by the Bell? Uh, Ig wants me to hit that gong. I'm going to hit that gong after I drink a little water. Harold, I have not seen the trailer for the new Saved by the Bell. But I can tell you this fun fact. The new class, the sequel to Saved by the Bell, ran for more seasons than Saved by the Bell did. That's a fun fact for you. That's also including if you count the one season of the college years, which I don't count. I just banged the gong. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to get back to building. You're going to get back to watching and hanging out and maybe chatting if you feel like it or not. Uh, and responding in your, your opinions on the following anime that I watched since Thursday. Uh, while two of the shows that I normally, like, normally have six shows, I'm going to talk about five because I did wait one for next week because A Pair of Ranman and Food Wars are going on indefinite hiatus due to the, uh, uh, the pandemic in Japan starting to very much enforce its stay-at-home policies. Um, uh, it is, uh, uh, there's going to be delays in a bunch of shows. Um, so Food Wars. Okay, my big thing about Food Wars right now is, one, as I said, I've said this before, I didn't know if I really needed a, another season of the show. Fourth Plate kind of wrapped up the whole dang thing. And it's like, I guess it's kind of cool that Soma is going to compete in Blue, the competition that his dad was supposed to do but didn't do. Uh, because he... So I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, there was a all-out, like, food tournament thing, like, battle royale to decide who was going to go. And I'll say this. If you are trying to convince me to be interested in a show and where it goes, or the season, having Megumi win and thus going to Blue 
Megami is, that's an easy indication, as she is an awesome character and rad as hell. Uh, her going there is awesome. Uh, we've got the mysterious teacher who is clearly fucking evil uh, and definitely has an ulterior motive. Uh, and at least Soma, like, recognizes. He doesn't realize what's happening. But he does realize that, like, he's like, hey, you're, you're up to something and, like, clearly messed up. Uh, apparently his plan is to marry, uh, Arena, uh, which is like, of course it is. There's, in the opening animation, she is being kidnapped at some point, because of course she is. Uh, and also, like, I tweeted about this, but there's some sort of society thing, like, he's dressed like that in one point, looks like he, he beat someone's dad, uh, uh, in a, in a, in a battle, which maybe so he, you know, threw, who knows, but, uh, they got these hoods, they got hooded, they're, they got, they're a secret society or something, they got hoods on, and, uh, you do you, whatever, they look real bad, why would you, why would you want that, like, please, 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 look up, you, you can see it on my Twitter, I took a screen cap of it, if you're part of a secret society, or something or other, or a revolution, or whatever, you can't be looking dorky and shitty. You gotta look cool. You're in anime. Like, unless, like, we, I don't know, unless their deal is, we suck ass. If they are supposed to be shitty, then they, mission accomplished. But if they are supposed to be mysterious or cool, they are not doing the job. I mean, I could find the photo. Because uh, it is... Uh, it is ridiculous. So, yeah, alright. I found the photo. I'm going to... No, I got to fucking... Come on. Of course, I can't save the, Twitter. Well, I found it on Twitter, and I can't. So whatever. I'm not going to post the photo on, on this right now. But just so you know, they look very foolish. Uh, there's some good interaction with some characters. Uh, Megan be winning rules, and it's great because she's the best. Uh, she also is very unprepared for the possibility of her winning and doing well. She still doesn't consider herself to be as awesome as she is. And I like that the first two episodes were about how people are scared of how good she is at, at stuff. And she's just like, wait, what? You are? Uh, I love that. Uh, but overall, you know, we'll find out some answers. Oh, there's a whole thing like that dude wants to marry her. And Soma definitely makes it sound like he's in love with her. But he's not. He just wants the use of her god tongue. He's just, you know, he doesn't want her, like, married and dealing with that stuff so he can lose access to having her try his recipes, which is real heroic shit, Soma. Real heroic stuff. Ugh. That show. Whatever. I'll watch it when it comes back. Gal and Dino. So, I know that, look, I understand that the, the culture in Japan, even before pandemics, is there are people that wear masks in the street, right? In their community. The part of the live action portion of this week's Gal and Dino takes place outside in a market, and it was definitely shot either the end of last year or the beginning of this year, because every fucking person is in a mask that is just a background person just in the episode. And it's fucking kind of unnerving to just see people out and about but wearing masks. Like I, like I said, I don't know when that scene was shot. So, uh, if you haven't been paying it, you haven't up to snuff, Gal and Dino is about a uh, Giryu, uh, a, you know, like fashion forward, uh, sometimes tans, not really in this show, uh, uh, Gal, 
uh, l young lady um, who's, you know, into clothes and whatever, and it's maybe a little boisterous and kind of says what's on her mind. Uh, the dude with the no photos sign was amazing. Yeah. Um, so she's just doing her thing, making things happen. Um, and, uh, we get to know a little bit more about her. She works at a convenience store, like a 7-Eleven style mart, uh, you know, to earn money to, to her job. And she's got a co-worker, uh, that is a college student and is kind of freaked out by her, which is fun because she's just nice and we get to see her interacting. There's a whole moment. Uh, where uh, the dinosaur gets keys to the apartment, the spare key, and it's on a keychain that is of a um, a moped, and that's the ex-boyfriend's moped, like that. So this was his key, and it's very funny because he has this like flashback uh, moment. Uh, uh, the dinosaur is like imagining like him giving the key back, and it's done in a different animation style, which is really fun. The show is, is full of that in a way that I really, really enjoy. Um, really plays with with animation. Uh, and I thought that was really fun. Um, and yeah, so like, we're just learning more about her and her, uh, our gal is trying to find out like, more information about like, what is, what is a dinosaur like, like and, and eat and, and what's up? Uh, and she like, made friends with her co-worker who doesn't know you know she didn't know her co-worker was kind of like scared of her uh and yeah they made friends it was just like a nice sweet little episode and then the live action shit started y'all and so if you've been following the live action portion of this show and yeah there's a fucking live action portion of this show so here's what's up uh, the first two episodes, well, the first episode, it was loosely the plot of what had happened, but with a different character instead of the gal and similar plot and then some extra stuff. And then the second episode was like a death note style thing about a dude like, or like a future diary type thing where the dude like trying to like fix the future. And so the way he fixed it was to make it what the reality we know. And so this episode was the gal, but it wasn't just a retelling of any events that have happened previously. It was a little bit like they did the, the, the thing, but it's still also like its own show, which doesn't, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense what's happening, but that's what's going on. So it's its own different version of it. And they're also, like blink travel, like they jumped and dashed to somewhere, and so there's some supernatural stuff still happening. Yeah, they teleported, Ig. There, it, it was a flash teleportation, and that doesn't make any sense, and she's just like, did we just teleport? What just happened? So at least she acknowledged that, like, hey, that was weird, what just happened here. Why can't I get this to work? Uh, so I appreciate that she was like, hey, wait, what the fuck? But that went out the window and they hung out and did some fun stuff and did some stuff with kids and it, it's whole thing. And it just, it wasn't a weird, I mean, it's weird because it's weird because this anime has a live action portion. So it's fucking bizarre and weird, but it isn't weird because like some, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it. It's just a weird ass show. Uh, and I'm psyched about it. I'm psyched about every moment of it. I don't know why it's happening the way it is. Uh, but it is that. And I love it to death. And I don't know why it is. And then the dude at the end. Yeah. And then somebody smiled, Ig. So we're not done. Now, is this going to be supernatural, like the past stuff we've had? Or is it going to be, like, a creepy weirdo? Or, like, or and it's going to go in another direction? What about the housekeeper that had a book as well uh, that is not in this reality? Is she going to make a return? 
what is even happening? What about the character actor that was in the show? I don't fucking, I don't have any answers, folks. All right, I'm going to take some photos of this in a second here. I don't have any answers except to tell you that Gal and Dido fucking rules. And I respectfully request that you watch it. The first two episodes are available for free with ads running on Funimation. The third episode is available if you're a premium member. Uh, and I would say it is my favorite show of the season. It, is, it does not make any sense. It is a not, it is complete and utter wonderful nonsense. Uh, all I know is I'm 100% in. Yes. And like I like the animation. I like the fake uh, claymation shorts that are in there. Uh, we're expanding the characters in the world, and I think that's rad. And I'm like, I'm on board. This is a good show. This is a good time. Uh, Love is War. Uh, this one, they, they, they kind of follow the plot a little bit of like, so love, love is war. Uh, I'm, I'm just as surprised as you are that I enjoy the show because it is, uh, um, you know, it is tsundere characters and it's all over the top and kind of nonsensical, but it does care very much about its plot and its weirdness. Um, so this one was about the fact that the president's. Uh, student council president's birthday was coming up, so uh, you know she wanted to get him. Kaguya wanted to get him a gift. wasn't sure if she should. Well, now we get to see his younger sister uh, spend some time hanging out. Uh, they're going shopping, and Chica's younger sister is there. And Chica's younger sister is definitely. It's played for laughs, but she is a yandere. She definitely is, she, like, talks about, like, oh, I want to keep that innocence. I want to lock that up so no one else can have it. Like, she says shit that is fucking weird and creepy as hell. And I love that uh, uh, Kaguya, like, is caught on to that and is like, uh, I don't like spending time with Chica's sister. She seems demented. Uh, and so I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, she is definitely a Yandere character, and it is it is weird she's in the show. But uh, I, I do like that she's there, as long as they're aware of it. So that was fun. Uh, and then the second portion of it is uh, the reveal of the gift and the, and the present. And she made too big of a cake. She had a big cake made, because he hasn't had cake. Uh, uh, they don't really celebrate birthdays in his family, because the money is tight. Um... And, uh, so he's like, uh, like, oh yeah, you don't have to buy, you know, like, don't buy me things. That's not, that's not a thing that he wants. Um, but she got him a gift and it was cute and fun. It was also the internal monologue, the court of like deciding if she should get a gift or not. And if she actually like likes him or loves him or whatever. And it was, it was cool. Um, there's also an underground thing here. There's music playing at one point, and it's a instrumental cover of uh, You Spin Me Round. Last week, the first episode of this season, the instrumental cover was Madonna's Vogue, and this one is Dead or, Dead or Alive's You Spin Me Round. And the opening theme song is a fake ass sounding Tom, uh, uh, Tom Jones song. And that was also in the first season as well. So like, hey, what the fuck? Why is this keep? Why? 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 I don't know why. It is so weird. And it is great. Uh, also, like, you get a little more Detective Chica, which is fun. Uh, cause she's just a fun character and I enjoy her, uh, her isms in the show. And it was a good episode. Uh, like I said, it did definitely diff follow the plot more than sometimes the show does, uh, around the birthday things. Um, uh, yeah. I don't, whoops. Oh no, I dropped it. Now you get to watch me repair. I dropped it. Sticky fingers. I was about to put it on its stand and just instead... Fucking dropped it. Anyway, uh, that show is good. I like it. Uh, 
I'd recommend it if you, it's on Funimation. The first season is on Funimation, and the first season's also Crunchyroll, but the second season is only on Funimation. Uh, it might be on Hulu, but I haven't been paying attention to what Hulu got and what Hulu didn't get because they didn't get some of the shows I want to watch. So I switched from Hulu to Funimation, as I've said before. I made that switch, and I do not regret making that switch because they got some shows. Although the Funimation player is bad. It is a bad uh, application. Uh, the web player. I, I've heard on mo on uh, not on mo on uh, like on some consoles, the console player apparently isn't that bad. But oh boy, stinky. Uh now we come to. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I didn't talk about this yet. Sorry, uh, I jumped it because uh, I had watched Kaguya Sama before this. Uh, my next life as a villainous, all roots lead to doom, which I think is my favorite show this season. I, I honestly think that, that that is my favorite show. Uh, the Funimation browser player is garbage. Yeah, Sig, it very much is. It's not great. Uh, it's just not a good, yeah, it's not a good experience. Um, so, uh, my next life as a villainous is so fucking cool. I was saying, so here's the thing, right? With Eighth Son, I was like, oh, good. The third episode, he's a teen. Now the show can happen because generally these shows, when they're a young person, nothing really happens and it just takes too long. We know that they're not going to stay a young person that long. They're going to they're gonna grow up some and that's where the show is going to kick off. Uh, that is the case with almost every isekai. Uh, Ascendance of a Bookworm is a little different because that one is is about her as a young person. Like that is the form that is the formative element of the show, so it makes sense that that one is taking its time, whereas other shows uh, move a little faster. Um, but almost every isekai is like, oh, you got to grow up. But I kind of liked that this almost all of the third episode was her as a young person, uh, because we still needed to see the rest of the characters, uh, and we got to see them now. We've met the we've met all our major players. Uh, another thing I will, I will point out is so. There is a uh, there is a character who like she's like oh I actually don't know a lot about this girl or this or her brother. Um, my it's like our Ataku friend uh, knows this route. So there's a route in the game that she didn't play, so she doesn't have like an idea of what this dude is about, which is interesting because it can throw a monkey wrench into it. Like maybe. Uh, it will be a problem in the future if, uh, like, it because it's kind of clear that one of her friends, like, she's definitely in love with with uh, our villainess, uh, and so that's gonna be that could be a problem because it's very clear that uh, this dude is a, is a is definitely in love with his sister, uh, and like nobody understands that. Uh, also. Uh, it is fun to continually remind ourselves that our main character, uh, while she is, you know, she was 17 when she passed and was reincarnated into this body in this game, she's still uh, uh, a silly uh, otaku girl that, like, wasn't popular and doesn't understand stuff. She doesn't have a lot of common sense. So she still, like, doesn't get that all these dudes are into her. She, like, has no concept of it, which is pretty interesting. She's definitely worried about, like, going to school and dealing with that. Because now they're all grown up. They're going to go to school. We still haven't met the hero of the video game that this world is based on. Because uh, they don't meet until school, this poor girl. Uh, so that's probably going to be the next couple episodes is, like, her meeting this girl and, like, trying to be friends with her to make it so that she doesn't have a, a, a death flag ending. I don't know. It... it it's an interesting show. I think the premise is really strong. Uh, I think it's very fun that she is like, uh, there, yeah, there's a moment where she's like, oh, we never really figured out that whole magic thing. Uh, 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 so, oh, well, but we, we learned fighting and like our, these characters are different, but I think she's like, she is unaware that, uh, she has not, uh, 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 she has not figured out that, oh, actually, these characters, like, because she's different and she's made these characters different, that it's still going to be a fucking problem. 
the problem is not going to be uh, her being mean to this other girl. The problem is going to be like these dudes really like her, and then she's probably going to accidentally be mean, like I assume. Uh, do you think there's going to be a weird turn where there is a dire antagonist and might die, or do you think it's going to keep being happy-go-lucky? So, Falcon, I think that it's going to still be a comedy of errors where she is, like, trying to be friendly to this girl and causing problems by her very nature. And I think it's also going to be this thing where she doesn't understand that there are four dudes and two ladies that all definitely want to be with her. Uh, and that's going to be a fucking problem. Like, I don't think she's realized that she is like, that this is a fucking thing. Uh, all right. I got to take a, uh, I'll take a photo of this one. Flight mode. I'm going to put this over here. Flight mode photo. All right. And then we'll take one more photo here. So I think that's going to be a big problem is that she has no idea that, uh, like that, that, that her trying to stop some flags have started new ones. Like uh, her younger brother, who's not a brother, he's just been staying with her. Like, yeah, he's not a loner. He, but he is, well, he is like jealous of the prince, and the prince is still an issue, and the uh, prince's brother is an issue, and. The girl who's ostracized his brother is an issue, and the girl who's ostracized is an issue, and like, yeah, it's a whole thing. All right. Let me just do it like that so you can see. Just getting some photos because we are done. This is done. The dishes are done, man. We have done every completion, or we completed every part of our task here. We have built a boat. I must build a boat, and I did build a boat, and it is the flying model of the Thousand Sunny, as featured in the movie uh, Stampede, and that is complete, and now I will take off some components here in order to make it sit in its, where it needs to go, a little easier, just take off some components here, make my life a little easier, and yeah. Now it's going to live in its uh, in its box for a while until such time as, I don't know, I do something with it or mail it to somebody. Uh, all right, so that's the end of that kit. We're going to move on to the next kit. We got some time left in the stream, so at the very least we can get uh, uh, started on, uh, on this, or at the very least I can start like organizing this kit. Uh, the Gira uh, Giharga. Uh, this is a 2018 kit, and this is the 144 scale, high grade. So this shouldn't be a long build, but, it, you know, we'll get through uh, this one here. It, it, as I said, uh, it has a spear. I like that. It has got a whip. Uh, it has got uh, the spear can also have beam tips, which I like a lot. Uh, and the fact that it has a tail rules. Because you don't see a lot of tails, and it, it, it feels like the um, the uh, the kind of uh, tail that you will find in or the the, um, the whip from the Espion and Talkies Three. It reminds me a lot of that, which I like. Um, all right, we got one more show we want to talk about here, which is Extendance of a Bookworm Season Two. It's Season Two, but uh, but Crunchyroll just has it as more episodes, as basically like the second course of the first show. Which is fine. That that's that's their want. They can do that. Um, so it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens with the show. But like I don't know. It started off fine. It's this was a fine uh, episode. Uh, we are having more of her uh, attendance. We get a little peek at there might be some trouble with the with the food stuff that she's making, and people might get pretty interested in what what she's been you know making and. Uh, so I will say a sentence of a bookworm. My general feeling on the show is I, I didn't watch it when it was first out because there were a lot of isekai that season and it didn't really strike my fancy. So I didn't, I didn't go for it when it first came out. Um, 
but it grew on me. And I went back and watched it because I know a lot of people really loved it. So I, I gave it a second chance. And I'm glad I did because I had fun with the show. But it feels like this season, like I'm waiting for the thing to happen. Like they're setting up all this new stuff with her being a blue robe and dealing with, with various things. And she's dealing with like the dude that feels unwanted because he's he doesn't want to be your attendant. And the guy that like, just like has been mistreated so much and the girl who is uh thinks she has an easy street and she's gonna be like a spy but she's so obviously a spy that like that falls apart like i don't know there's there's stuff going on and i'm like kind of interested in the show but this season i'm feeling a little less interested than the previous one uh i'm waiting like i said uh, I am expecting business to pick up a little bit, and when it does, uh, that'll be good for for you know for watching. Like I'm, I'm hoping that we get a little bit more something or other. Like I'm not saying it doesn't have to be an Isakai where like she uses her magical abilities to do a bunch of stuff and wows everyone. Like she doesn't have to do that stuff, but I would like to see her. Uh, like have to, you know, like figure stuff out. Uh, her parents really aren't really involved right now, and I kind of liked their interactions. I thought they were fun, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, e F G H. Uh, sorry, I'm just organizing these components here. All right, that'll do. All right, we can get a little building in. Uh, we're not going to do a lot of building. We do have some connectors here. Uh, we haven't had these in a while, but we're working on a high grade. So you're going to need some connectors. And there is a wire for the tail, which we'll deal with later. There are some stickers because it's a high grade. That's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, there's some cool weapons in this thing. Uh, I'm a little bummed that the beams on the wit on the, uh, s the spears here are, uh, are stickers. That's kind of a bummer. I don't know if that's going to look that great because it's going to have to wrap around. So I'm a little bummed by that, but overall, you know, it's a high grade. Like, mm, what are you going to do? Uh, I do like that it's the gear tail. That it's not just called the tail; it's called the gear tail. I just think that is a silly thing that I enjoy. The tail has its own name. All right, let's get started. We'll get a little. We'll get some body in as we go. But yeah, so uh, so Ascendance of Bookworm. I'm a little mad on it. Uh, I'm hoping that it uh, that it picks up uh, because I do like the show. So I would like to enjoy uh, this season, uh, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the conflict's going to happen here. Can't be confusing it for any old tale. That's right, Lashbrook. It's got to, you know, you got to know this is, this is this thing's tale. Don't you forget it. I won't even take a photo. We're not going to get too far into this kit, so I'm not even going to take a photo today. But I will take a photo uh, of uh, our progress on uh, Monday. Because we will be working on this on Monday as well. My next uh, build stream will be Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern. As I said, we got a few more minutes left of the stream, so we'll, we'll get a we'll get a little bit of this done just to kind of get ease into working on a high grade of the 144 scale uh, of this size. But uh, you know, so this will be pretty straightforward. Uh, I have no connection to this kit other than hey, that thing has a tail and looks kind of like a demon. I like that. I'll put that on my wish list. And then uh, it was on, it was on a good sale when I bought this. When I got this, this was, this was marked, I forget the percentage. Of, this, this was a great deal. So, uh, I always say, it's nice to have a couple high grades just around because, like, I know I can always build those and they're, you know, fairly inexpensive comparatively and often sometimes they're on sale. Uh, that has unfortunately become. I have a lot of high grades that are just waiting me for me to build them. But now I got some master grades. Uh, and I expect people will 
request that I build those sooner. But I don't know. Uh, we will be building something for my wish list uh, after this. By the time I'm done with this, we might have two things in the wish list built. But I am counting uh, the that Lashbrook picked up that uh, or bought a gift card from USA Gundam Store and sent me the code. And I'm building something that I used with that gift card money. Get ourselves a get ourselves one of the oddest things in in any Gundam show is we're gonna get ourselves a kit that the Gundam has a sniper rifle and he looks down the sights and that just doesn't make any sense. Never made any sense that he would like like a sight on a sniper rifle. Also, it's got cool. Uh, Diomedes has uh, cool shields. And if I remember correctly, it has like 9mm pistols, right? Like, they're not 9mm, but it has like pistols. And that's also a very funny thing to me. That it has like, that it dual wields pistols is just a silly thing. Uh, but I, I like its shields because they're like, they're wings, but also shielding. And I think that's a cool uh, bit of business. But yeah, I always thought that was very funny to be like, Oh, so you're a sniper rifle, huh? You look down the barrel of your sniper rifle. In s it has pistols, which is cool. Yeah, I just think that's a that's a funny. I like I I like B maxes, and I like you know I, I you know me. I like w weird weapons in my kits. Oh, you have a version of the Jaws of Life, and that is your weapon. Cool. You do you. Oh, your sword has rockets on it because it needs your sword needs propulsion. Sure, okay. Whatevs. Oh, he's got a big mace, huh? It's not even a beam mace. It's just a big mace. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Or that we just finally built a kit that had. A double length, like beam, like two beam sabers that could lock together to be a double beam saber. Like, yeah, hell yeah. Let's do it. All right, make sure I put this on right. Nope, I almost put this, put the headpiece in wrong. That could have been a disaster. Claws, yeah, claws are good. So I'm excited for that P Bandai kit because those giant claw hand. Oh yeah, for the, the Norn. Yeah, and there's that kit like the God Hand kit that's just like, I like a kit. I you know, do I think I do think that the um, the Endless Walls version of the um, the Altron Gundam is better than that one. But like the the one thing where it was just like, oh no, it's got one claw hand, and it's got like. That's just different. I don't know. One of his hands got a big claw on it. Uh, we don't know. We just thought that would look cool. Like, I, I like that. It's got like a, it's a dragon hand. And you're like, it's a, it's a dragon hand? Like, yes. Okay. Sure. All right. We'll finish this up because we're getting close to the part that has all the stickers on it and I don't want to do that right now because I did a lot of stickers today and that's okay because it's fun we had to build a boat and we built the boat we must build that boat and we did but yeah I mean this is a high grade this is going to come together pretty easy be a pretty fast build we'll be working on another kit before you know it, I don't know what will be after this. It will be something from my list. It will be something will come in the mail from my wish list. Uh, but, you know, we will have more stuff to work on. Don't you worry. But right now what's going to happen is I am going to pick a stream for us to rate. Because I do that, uh, you know, since this all started, it felt like a good thing to be able to do. Uh, you, know, we'll, you know, you're welcome to come along. You don't have to, but we're going to. Uh, we're going to find somebody that's doing something cool and we're going to give them a little bit of a raid. Uh, and, uh, let's see who's doing what anybody.
think I want to go raid raid. Uh, I think we'll just raid Kate. Yeah, we're going to rate my friend Kate, Kate Stark. Uh, she's the best. It's her community day. Uh, right now, they're looking at, like, fancy houses. They're just looking at images of fancy houses, and that seems like an odd thing. So let's just join that. Uh, once again, you don't have to join us, but if you'd like to, that'd be cool. My next stream will be on Monday at 9 p.m. Thank you so much. Uh, Eastern time till 11 p.m. We will continue this kit. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Uh, I hope you will uh, uh, come along on the raid. And if not, I'll see you next time on the next Build with Bear. Have a great night and uh, be cool, everybody. We're going to represent well. We're, we're going to go raid and, and hang out with Kate and be nice because her community rules. And she's great. Uh, see you next time. Goodbye. 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 Thank you. Thanks for being here, everybody.